Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, recently I ordered something online at a very big retailer that you can almost order anything from. Originally it was just books, now it's practically most anything, and let's just say it it's uh, named after a river. So you might think, what could that be? But nonetheless, that's not the point. The point is I did order something. I ordered a hammer and three water filters. A hammer and three water filters. And it was gonna be due in a couple days and I was looking forward to it. And then it did arrive, or a package arrived, and it wasn't quite the size. And I even couldn't even remember what I ordered at that point because I periodically order things and I keep track. I'm not, track, I'm not tracking, I should say, which ones are coming next. Anyhow, so this arrives in a package about, about this big and about that thin or that thick. Now remember, I ordered a hammer and three water filters, three water filters. So what did I get? So I, I ripped open the package and I wanted to show you what I got. I got this. What in the world is this? This looks like it's, a, it's got a hairnet and I guess you can put it on and I guess it's an extension of some kind for hair, I mean, should I put it on? I don't know, is that gonna, is that, is that how you handle it? Is that, is that how it's worn? I have no idea. So anyhow, uh, I'm not even sure. It's not real hair, so that it's, I, I assume it's clean. But I mean, for goodness sake, I ordered a hammer and three water filters. And what I get, I got a wig. I got a wig. So, you know, you don't always get what you ask for. Such is life, right? Life is an adventure. You don't always get what you ask for. But here's the deal. I know for myself, and in this case, I wasn't really aching to get this package right away. Have you ever ordered something and you're just like dying, you're watching the tracking, and it could be like possibly an iPhone that maybe people sometimes order, and they might watch the tracking and they're very excited that it might come. This is not one of them, it was a hammer and three water filters. So like whenever it comes, it comes. And so when I got it, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And it wasn't that big of a deal that it turned out to be the wrong thing. It was a little tricky to try to return four, th or get four things and just return one. That, that was tough. So I ended up calling the store that normally you have to just deal with it all online, but I did talk to a human being and it got all figured out and we're great. So what we did arrive two days ago was the hammer, and then one day ago, the water filters. So there we go. And what am I gonna do with this? Well, they said I could just keep it. Anybody need a partial wig, uh, an extension of some kind? I don't, I keep my hair short. Life throws us all kinds of curveballs. The more we have expectations about things, the more we find ourselves excited when they come, but also heavily disappointed when they don't come or they don't happen. Imagine if we lived instead of with all these expectations, we just live for the day, knowing that today's worries are enough. This is from Christ, we hear that. Do not worry about tomorrow. And in fact, I'd be cautious even having great expectations about tomorrow. Or at least and if you do, make sure, God willing, those things will happen. And that's kind of a way to say it. Instead of saying, I'll see you tomorrow, you can say, okay, God willing. That might be another way of saying it. Because we don't know. Tomorrow, today might be the last day. Tomorrow may not happen for some of us. You may, you know, the gift you may get tomorrow may be totally something you weren't expecting. And sometimes in great, wonderful ways. Movies, watching movies. I've had this where I, I decided to watch a movie. I knew very little about it. I might have heard it's good, but I'm, I'm just going to watch it with just a, no expectations. The probability of me having a joyful time is greater, unless it's really a stinky movie, but generally I've had great experiences. That, that was wonderful, that was better than I expected because my expectations were low, or zero. But when they are high, think about the blockbusters and you expect it's gonna be really awesome and it just didn't, just didn't come to the same level as you expected or it's a sequel and you had these great expectations and it didn't happen. Instead of getting the hammer and three uh, water filters, you, you get a wig. You walk away disappointed and angry maybe. My friends, maybe this is something to think about. Something to implement. Here we are at the beginning of the school year. There's all kinds of expectations of the year. Uh, maybe you have a new job. 
That's great. All that stuff is great. But we need to rely on God more, and not all these other things. Have just the gratitude that God has got us. He's got this. He's got us. You and I have been born for this time and in this place, and we have, a, and we have work to do. And just do the work. And do it the best you can. Now, obviously, uh, I'm not sure if, well, obviously an error occurred with this order. I don't know if that was because of the machinery or some human beings put the wrong things in the wrong spot for the machines to get it or, or they pulled these things out. But it's, even then, it's not four things. It's, it's one thing. I don't know how it happened, but we often don't do the best we could. Imagine that worker or workers that were involved in this order, they're going to get a review somehow that it was possibly the wrong thing. They did a poor job. They're going to go home kind of sad. But that will help them to get better. And hopefully their expectation won't be diminished that they're a horrible worker. We all make mistakes. I make mistakes. I do things I shouldn't do. I sin. I um, say things I shouldn't say or accidentally do things. Those aren't, accidents aren't necessarily sins, but we're all fallible. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so maybe we need to give ourselves a break. I know that I've needed to do that. That is, quit being so hard on yourself. Laugh at yourself. You made a mistake. Or if you've sinned, let us repent. And ask God, of course, help me to keep my sensibility, my conscience, uh, not just clear, but sensitive. Because as I know as we sin, and we've all probably had this, I know I've had this, that I, if I sin and I sin a, Frequently on something, I'm likely to get a malaise in that regard. And like, oh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. When it really is. So live for the moment. Live for the day. Let God take care of the future. And be very cautious about setting expectations. We're about to get walking into fall. What's going to happen in the fall? There's going to be Thanksgiving dinners and other kinds of things. And you might be dreading what's going to happen. Maybe that, that one person in that family is going to be there and you don't want to be there because they're there. Let go of that. And just go and be and be kind and loving wherever you go. Without the expectations of everybody or ourselves doing certain things, we will be surprised. And you know what? It's so much more wonderful and joyful to be surprised in a good way. Think on these things. This weekend, Deacon Brett will be preaching the homily. So I ask you to pray for him. And of course, pray for our parish. And I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye. This is the craziest thing. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. It's kind of bouncy. Curly hair. Doesn't match. <laughs>